Hi guys, welcome back to Will and Marcy's channel and in today's video we are going to talk about wearing my bridge for a year and a half. what I look like wearing my new dental um, night guard anyway <laughs> what I'm wearing right now is my night guard and we're gonna talk about that in this video as well well the reason why I showed you what my night guard looks like is I wanted to show you let's just say how natural it still look like you have your bridge and have a night guard I know my night guard doesn't look natural so I'm gonna take this off okay See how easy it is to take it off and to let you guys know not to be afraid of having a bridge. So there are actually five things that I wanted to talk to you about today. After wearing my bridge for a year and a half, I wanted to share to you how I feel and what are the post, they call them post information <laughs> about wearing your bridge. So let's start with one. So before we get started, I would like to thank all of you guys who has recently subscribed and watched my channel. Um, so if you are new to this channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and like this kind of video if you like. If you don't, make sure you hit that thumbs down and give us some comments. So let's go ahead and get started. So today I wanted to uh, talk to you about five things that I listed to give you more information about wearing br dental bridge uh, i like to give you uh five uh, there might be more but i just listed five so let's go with the first one i put it on my um note pad so i will remember <laughs> obviously i'm still looking for it so let's let's put my glasses on number one the first thing um, that I wanted to talk to you about is it's all in your mind or your head. How do you feel about wearing a new things, uh, wearing new bracelets, wearing new watch? I know there is some uncomfortness that you will feel at first, but after a few days, you will think that it's your natural teeth. So you just be very careful with that. And um, number one of the things that I wanted to let you know is you can eat as much as you want to uh, but of course you still have to be very careful on what food are you eating or biting you know you can eat corn on the cob you can eat chicken wings but you cannot bite into um, a crab legs of course if you bite on the front of your teeth that is not a good idea you can definitely break it or damage your your dental bridge but you know, biting onto a chicken wings, hamburgers, corn on the cob, those have um, soft texture to them, so you don't have to worry about it. And then if you have it on your mouth, like I don't know how many um, dental bridge you have, but I have four front teeth that are missing, so I have to use two of my canines to work as a foundation. And that's why it's called bridge. It has to have two strong foundation that is um, supporting those um, teeth that does not have any more bones and it's just adjacent to the gums. I think for me is, you know, if you feel comfortable after a few days of wearing it, then I think um, you'll know that it is right for you. Uh, I know it's right for me. I've been wearing it for a year and a half. So I, that's why I made this video to update you on how I feel. Um, the only thing that I probably would do different is uh, I wanted larger teeth or, you know, because I'm used to the big teeth. Now I have to like smile <laughs> to show you how gorgeous my teeth is. But other than that, I mean, I, mean, I have no uh, regrets so whatsoever. I love my uh, dental bridge. And thank you again for watching the videos. Uh, that I have put out there and I really hope that that uh, those videos are helpful to all of you okay so number two 
Okay, I showed you earlier the night guard. Uh, I didn't have it here with me anymore, but um, a night guard to wear because I am grinding my teeth too much at night. And you probably would have that too. I'm not really for sure. But showing you the night guard earlier and how I removed it, it just tells you how natural how having a dental bridge. It, it, there's no difference of having a natural teeth. Other than, of course, you don't have any more foundation or <laughs> bone underneath your gum. But to remove your night guard, to brush your teeth, to do anything else, it's quite uh, almost the same as having a natural teeth. I think it's really important that you wear a night guard. So that's, that's number two. Okay, number three, dental hygiene. So I wanted to show you what my... Uh, Dentist told me what to use uh, besides of course brushing your teeth you know what type of dental floss should we use I know when we have a dental bridge we do have those little gaps that needs to be cleaned and um, I saw two similar like identical uh, floss the dental floss so we're talking about dental floss and how to clean your teeth I'm taking my glasses off now I'm not reading anything this one from Walgreens, I know it's not sponsored, it's not going to be sponsored, but this one from Walgreens, uh, I think it's like 99 cents or a dollar and two cents. It has a thicker floss. So if you have small gaps in your, between your teeth, then this floss is somewhat huge to go in between your teeth. Like I, I have a lot of, uh, I have like wider gaps in my husband. So when he put it on and take it back out, it feels like he's gonna pull off his teeth. Yeah, you know, I just ate chicken wings by the way. Uh, and, and, and this one is like really thick and it's more expensive that, uh, compared to this Reach Mint Wax that I buy at Walmart. I think this is 98 cents. So I don't know if it's gonna focus. Why is it focusing over there? Right there, yes. So Reach Mint Wax. So I'll show you the comparison of how skinny this is. See how the string or the floss compared to this one. So if you're cleaning, especially in between your gums and your, your teeth, like in front, it's so hard with the thick one, it's hard to get it into in between the teeth where you can start cleaning. Let me see if I still have some wings, but so my dentist says, you know, buy those inexpensive floss for for you cleaning your bridge. So that's the third thing that I wanted to share to you. So, so the fourth one, so one, two, three, fourth. <laughs> fourth thing that I wanted to talk to you about is, of, of course, the dental hygiene. See your dentist regularly and tell them how you feel. You know, don't be scared to tell him how you really feel about your dental bridge. Um, if you're uncomfortable, you know, especially if you're just now having it done, make sure you know and you tell him how you feel. You know, you know and tell him how you feel. If you're not comfortable, make sure you let him know that. And dentists at care will definitely fix that for you. So that's the fourth thing that I wanted to talk to you about. And I think the last one is it will be there for the long haul. It will stay with you if you do all the dental hygiene, taking care of it, not eating hard or biting onto hard uh, food like crab legs. Because I think I did it one time and it freaked me out. Cause I'm like, ooh, is that my teeth that will fall, uh, fall off or something? So as long as you're cautious of what you're biting into, uh, your dental bridge will last you to almost a lifetime you know making sure that you know that you have fake teeth even if it looks natural <laughs> don't uh, forget that and uh be careful of biting onto um forks also because you know you you have your front teeth but sometimes you forget you have front you know fake front teeth and then you just bite onto the fork and then you just all of a sudden jerk it out and um, I think that's normal because we're just having a great time eating. I love food. So 
uh, I, I, we just be very careful. You know, your dental bridge is there for the long haul. Be very careful what you chew and make sure you see uh, see your dental see your dentist regularly. And I don't know if you still have any question. Uh, I think I've talked about most of the things that I wanted to talk about. I know a lot of you are waiting for how I feel now after a year and a half. Um, I think addition to the list that I gave you is my, I think my bite corrected itself. You know, I have an underbite and uh, the way my night guard and my bridge is designed is to kind of correct how my bite is. And I have that feeling that it corrected, uh, not 100%, but at least 70, 75%. Okay. Though, though I wish that, you know, my teeth wasn't pulled or weren't pulled. But now, of course, you know, we just have to accept the fact that we don't have those teeth anymore and that we have a new set of dental bridge. And um, I know how you guys feel. I know how I feel when I lost those uh, teeth before. So right now, what you have, cherish it and make sure you take care of it. And um, hopefully next time, I will show you different types of video again about my uh, dental bridge. And if you are interested, if you have any questions, make sure you comment below and I will try to answer all of your questions. Thank you again. So I think that's it. Thank you again for watching and I will see you on either my two years of wearing my bridge or, or sooner. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.